Hi, I'd like to explain what PA segment is. PA segment is a combination of analytical characteristics. Characteristics, for example, customer, or like a product, or the region, geographical location of the customer, or the organization unit, like sales division or profit center, the combination of these analytical characteristics is called PA segment. Why this is necessary? PA segment that enables the reporting of the financial figures like uh, quantity or the sales amount or the cost of goods sold. When you do the drill down reporting, you want to know how much was sold to, to who or what was sold. You need to know the separate amount, then you need a PA segment. I give you an example. You sell a pencil A to Mr. X, then you have a document number and a PA segment. On a different day, you sell uh, pencil A again to the same Mr. X. You have a different document, but the same PA segment is used. But Mr. X purchase a different product, then you need a new PA segment. You have a different customer, Mr. Y. He purchased the same product, then you have a different PA segment. Okay, you have again the same customer purchase the same product. Then you have uh, existing PA segment. You don't need to create the PA segment. Same way, the same customer purchase the uh, same product. Then the same PA segment will be used. So, the if the combination is exactly the same, the PA segment is reused. Document number counts up. Okay, the nature of this PA segment, so it, it, it is not a good idea to assign document number or the sales order number or the CEO order or production order number because once, once you assign these things, every time you create a sales order number, the, there will be a new PA segment, so the PA segment counts up forever. That is not a good idea. Also, you have to be careful what characteristics are to be assigned. For example, we have a 3,000 cities or 5,000 cities in this country. If you assign these cities as a characteristics, that means potentially you have 3,000 times or 5,000 times more segments. This will result in the performance deterioration because you have uh, too many segments, so you have to be careful. Okay, now the PA segment is stored in the table CE4 XXXX XXX X represents operating concern. You make an actual entry, then that will be stored in table CE1. You can see it in transaction called KE24. If it is a plan entry, that will be stored in table CE2, and the transaction code is KE25. At the same time, this ent the entry will be summarized by at the PA segment level and stored in CE3. CE3 has the actual amount in the plan amount, amount summari summary, summarized amount, and CE4 is the PA segment, that is a summary key. For your information, this CE4 ACCT, CE4 account, 
This is a table for the PA segment at the sales order. So every time you make an entry for a sales order, you have a PA segment. That is a separate table from uh, FI PA segment. This sales order PA segment is copied to the CE4 segment table at the billing or the FI posting. This CE4 account table, this has nothing to do with uh, sales order transfer to the COPA table. So as far as you use uh, SD module, this table is used. So this is it. I hope you understand the PA segment. Thanks for watching.